In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a scoreboard in order to keep track of the score for, let's just say, two players. So we'll have player one and player two. Now, in a game, you probably have the scoreboard impacted whenever a ball passes a certain area or whenever a player gets hit or a key is pressed, whatever it may be, there's various situations. So that might change depending on your game, but the overall concepts are going to be the same. So first, what we're going to do is just create two variables, one called var p1 score, and we'll set that equal to zero, var p2 score. So that's player one score and player two score. Then in draw, we're going to go ahead and print those scores on the screen. So we have text p1 score. Let's put this one 500 or from sorry 430, and then we'll put text p2 score. Let's say uh, 830. Okay. So if we just go ahead and run this code, we have player one over here on the left player two over here on the right. Now, like I said earlier, various things could go ahead and make the score change. Uh, in Pong, it'd be whenever the ball exits the side of the screen, if a character gets touched or hit by another character, whatever it may be. In this example, we're just going to use key type. So if one is pressed, player one gets a point. If two is pressed, player two gets a point. But you would just use an if statement where if the ball was in a certain location or whatever, um, the, the concept's essentially the same. So inside my key type function, underneath if one is pressed, I'm going to say p1 score equals p, p1 score plus one, where p2 would be p2 score equals p2 score plus one. But again, the concept could be anything, uh, whatever your game or whatever it is it might be. So in this situation, whenever I press one, I can get player one score to go up, two makes player two score to go up, and etc. And then to end your game, you could do something like if p1 score is greater than 10, text player one wins, and we could put that, say, um, you know, 600, uh, I don't know, 500, or we can copy this and say, if P2 score is greater than 10, player two wins. So let's see here. We have player one, player one wins, or if I restart, player two wins. So again, the concept's the same. You just might not be using key pressed or key typed in order to make the score go up. You might say if ball X is greater than something or whatever it might be that your game is actually doing. But the scoreboard concept is the same where you have to create variables, print them on the screen, and then maybe have if statements when the score gets to a certain number to tell you which player in fact won.